Hey, it's Scott Leslie from BusinessWise. Thanks for taking a moment as I walk you through the BeWise List Builder. You know, if you're in sales and business development and your goal is to set more meetings with your best prospects, focus is extremely important. And the List Builder is gonna help you focus by selecting filters of the kinds of um, target criteria that represent your best prospects. Let me show you how that works. When you first go to set up a list, you can either start from scratch or if you've already saved some existing lists, you can put in the name of a list, click on it and pull it up. You can copy that list, to create a variation on it, or you can also just remind yourself by looking at the various criteria by clicking expand all and remembering exactly what the list filters that you selected were. In this case, as you can see, I'm focused on certain industries, companies with 10 or more employees, I've, uh, looks like I've, um, I'm going to click on this site type here to sort of show you where you would actually go in and make changes to that. I focused on single or headquarter locations, so I've eliminated branch and regionals. As you can see, I've also uh, focused on uh, not calling on companies that are in retail or residential space or companies that don't have any office space that operate entirely virtually. And I also am uh, excluding uh, prospects that I have rated as X or D prospects in my previous call attempts. So once you're satisfied with your list filters, you can review your list to take a quick look at the counts, get a little idea of the breakdown. We've also got a pivot table function over here for you to be able to you know, really get a, a broad overview of your target criteria. And then a quick filter, a, a quick preview rather of your prospect list so we can sort of look through this and see if these are the kinds of companies that really indeed are the ones that we want to focus on. And once we're satisfied, we save the list and then we click go to the list to pull it up. Now, if the list is one that you're going to be really wanting to focus on, and of course you can have more than one list. In fact, all of your lists are, are accessible here under the saved list section. Uh, and you can all, of course go in here and, and type in a keyword. You can also type in like your name to see all of your, uh, your save lists, etc. cetera. Uh, but if there is one particular list that you really want to focus on, we recommend making that into your, what's called your active call list. Now I'm going to do a special video on that one there, but just suffice it to say that if I want to take this list that I've just built and make it my active call list, I just do it by clicking that right there. And then it's going to set it so that each time I log in, it's right here and waiting for me. And I can start making calls. So just a quick review. When you're ready to build a new list, go back to Build Edit List and click the Start button. And again, don't forget, you can copy a pre-existing list so you don't have to start every new list from scratch. But do be aware that you've got a whole variety of things to filter by, including these firmographic criteria, employee size, industry, revenue, etc., geographic criteria, zip code, county, even building name or radius. Real estate, you have the ability to filter by the type of building, whether somebody is a building owner or a tenant, when their lease expires, their square footage. Static lists, those are going to be lists that you manually create and select or campaign lists. So these can be filtered against another list. Target contacts, when you want to select by business title, we've got some very nice capabilities in here so that if you want to find everybody with the word uh, chief in their title, you can do things like that and pull them all up. If you decide that you don't want certain titles, you can click to delete until you're satisfied and click OK. Um, custom fields, don't forget, you've got the ability to put in your own custom fields into the system. If you're in the banking business and you want to record as you discover that somebody is with the competition, you'll be able to flag that and filter by that. Uh, let's see what else down here. If you've got your own spreadsheet and you want to, ha let's say you have a spreadsheet of all of your customers and you want to exclude those from your, uh, your drip marketing or your automated email prospecting campaigns, you can click on here and you can exclude certain companies based upon their domain. And then finally, business-wise, don't forget, is constantly adding firms and adding contacts. And this capability down here allows you to filter any list based upon the date that a particular uh, company was added to the database. And we're updating data daily. 
Hope this quick overview video helps. Don't forget, you can always sign up for one of our free training sessions right here for more information, or you can request personal help with anything that you need, and we'll be more than happy to get back with you as quickly as possible. Here's to your prospecting, uh, email campaign, lead gen, and success in getting more meetings with your best prospects. That's all for now, folks. Thanks.